All right, y'all, it's day five. We in Sali. Um, today, we're gonna head to the reserve. We gotta check out of our spot. So, um, still a little bit more driving, but it should be a pretty good day nonetheless. The first stop that we get out for is a restaurant where you can typically get a lot of exotic meat. Well, that's what Eve said, but we were the only tourists there. And he says it's a really cool experience because you eat food and then all these different types of monkeys come around and they interact and play with you. We didn't get to really experience that. We were staying in Sali, so it wasn't too far away from the Bandia Reserve. However, our ride from Dakar is about an hour and 30 minutes, so not too far away if you do have access to a vehicle. The good thing about being in a group is you can split costs, especially with a safari. If you're by yourself in a safari, it can be very, very expensive because you still need to pay a guide and you still need to rent a whole car just for yourself. Being that it's five of us, we were able to split costs and it came out to around $40 a person. And the great thing about it is that we could pay with our credit card. So that's what we really did. So we're in Bandia Reserve. It's uh, in Sali in the southern part of Gambia, about an hour away from Dakar. And when um, we move, please, you don't get out your hands. Okay. Only the kids here, they have phones. Yeah. And your hands inside, not outside. So we're going to be doing a little safari tour. So stay tuned. We'll see what it comes out like. It's wavy already, right? This was not Eve's first time in Bandia. So he actually knew a little bit more about it than we did. So one side I hear is for carnivores, so it has like lions and other animals like that. And the other side that we decided to go to, which is more like a safari and it's more land grazing animals. Can you see the tortoise here? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look like in this case, we have the female tortoise. It's just to protect him while because sometimes the big ledger can come to eat the eggs. Oh. And outside you see the man, look at here. Huh? and three men. The man is very big and they move slowly, they eat slowly. And they can sleep for 16 hours per day. That's why they can live 150 years to 200 years. Ostrich. Yes, ostrich. Yeah. Male. Yeah. The female are blessed. And one male can have two females. Okay. Three giraffe, four giraffe. Oh! It's a giraffe. On the road, you see the male. That's a young male. Look at the phone. He's very big and very wide. Uh -huh. And when they walk, right together and left together. The same legs in the same side of body. And you see the female here and the baby. Uh -huh. On the middle, you see the male. Look at the phone of the male. The baby, that's the female. Do you see the horns? Yeah. Dang, these guys are big. This is the old male giraffe. Old male. And you can tell by how dark it is. Oh. So, oh, wow, look at this. He would have scared. They're praying? Yeah, playing. Oh, playing. Ramadan, and you know? the giraffe need 50 kilos of leaf per day. That's why they can sleep just one hour. You want you call them horse antidote? Why? Because when they run, they look like a horse. Antidote Rohan. This one you call him in Senegal, Koba. Koba. Symbol of our national park. Ah. Yes. Oh, okay. So all of these are babies and kids? Yeah, the baby and the... 1,000 year old. 1,000 year old Balboa tree. Oh, get out of here, guys. Giraffe, where? Oh, look at the giraffe sleeping. My oh, boy, tired. Oh, hit a giraffe. Look the monkeys, yeah. This one, that's a male. Do you see the horn? Young male. Giraffe. Wow, look at them. Oh, shoot, this one right in front of us. You see the baby? That's that one. Picture, picture. What they drink, do you see? In this yeah. time, the predator, sometimes they come. Me and my boy Aga, chilling with this big giraffe. Let me tap him. Okay. Look at you see that green lake? That's an artificial lake. But he's drinking big time. Oh, don't dip on us. Come on, Jeffrey. Come on, Jeffrey. He tired of the paparazzi. He's out of here. You know, nice picture. On the nest. 
My boy, big chip. Right big pimpin, spin and cheese. Oh, and that's a little baby. It's a little baddie right here. Yeah, she does. Darker color, No, the dark color means it's that it's old. Why he's so dark? That's dark skin drawn. Black girl magic, alright? We respect it. Oh yeah, he's out. They out. They not messing with us. So here we are with the water buffalo, the most dangerous animals in the Savannah. If you can look up top right here, you can see it has the birds on the back. And those birds really just eat all the parasites off its back. Down there you see the pumba, the warthogs. The women are the ones that have the mustache, as you see over there. So the thing that's super dope about our guide is he's here. Um, and the way that he directs where we're going is based on the footprints on the floor. So he's telling the driver where to go based on what he sees. It's really cool to see him foot tracking here. Alright, so we about to pull Pretons. up on this rhino. And they can get ketones and when they run, they yeah, can get four ketones. With the rhino, look at this joint. This is the only rhino in Senegal. And that's the female right there. That joint is big. So if you can see here, this is a male rhino. Um, they cut the horns to protect them from other poachers that come into the park as well as to stop them from killing each other in the mating process. Overall, pretty dope. And here are some zebras. These were actually brought from Botswana. You see the, on the, on the, you see the man on the middle. You see the female. One, two females. The step of the male is very white and very dark. And one male can have 60 females. You see the cape killer? Do you see? Look at over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dip. Females, they'll be killed. Don't they have birds on them? And the state of antelope, we have only 300 on the world. And you find them here in oh, Senegal. Okay. Okay. Sky antelope and Senegal antelope. Oh, okay. Yes. He dipping. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. See the man here? Where's Simba? This is a stampede. Very big. 800 kilo. You see, you feed them. You give the information for the kids to make sacrifice. And when they have news to give, the girl play her friend bit by bit to give the information for the population. And in this time, the Sarah is our second. In Senegal, we have more 25 ethnical groups. The first is Wolof, Serer, Fulani. And each ethnic group here, they have the griot. The griot, that's the people who playing drum here and singing. And it's our story told us. And the griot, and when they have news to give, with the Bible, the griot play her drum. With Bible, to give the information for the population. Because in those times, we don't have phone, we don't have radio. And say, if the griot, he don't walk the land, when he die, we don't deserve to bury him. That's why in those times when the Guru Sarah died, we put them here. And when you put somebody on the hole of the Baba, if you don't close the door by the branches of the picture trees, the hyena and the jackal can come to eat the meat. And we have some problem of epidemics. These phenomena are stopped by our first president Senghor at 1960. And you find only the Baobab cemetery at the village Sarah. And if you look here, you can take the picture for the scraps. And here, you see the head here. Mm. Yeah. Just do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Nature's toothbrush. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What am I doing? Just leave it there? You see? I'll see you later. Okay. For the grill, please. For the grill, okay. <laughs> My man said I got breast stink, so he got him a toothbrush. <laughs> oh, that's it. What's that here? The flowers. Ah. The bees use that to make honey. Ah. Very good. 